to the best. It means that it's comparable. Can enough. he play basketball? Yes. Is he LeBron James? No. And we're live. <laughs> Welcome to the 31st <laughs> episode of the High Vibe, guys. Um, yes. It's going to be a lot of fucking uh, talking from opinions on this show. I'll tell you that off rip. This is going to be the most <laughs> argumentative. No, the second episode. No, we're doing it right now because I'm, I'm, I'm in that space. I ain't going to have to revert back in a, another show. So we going. Okay. It's going to take up both shows, too. <laughs> no, it ain't. But okay. take up both shows. I can't. We're going, we going with. My energy right for it right now. I can't go back in time to this hey, energy. This, this moment is uh, this moment is priceless. We're going with Instructor North Flag's phenomenal advice of going with the flow. Let's go with the flow. All right. All right. So y'all got y'all Google and y'all I don't need y'all stuff ready. I y'all don't need, need it. it. Oh, I don't okay. need it. God right. damn. Uh, I wish somebody uh, was watching this on Facebook Live and put a thousand of them rolling eyes emojis underneath. <laughs> 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 I got I got a really strong opinion that I'm gonna try to make sound like facts. Wasn't an opinion. Right. <laughs> Wasn't an opinion. That's that's what Google is for. It's yeah. awesome. So you just said you needed Google. You just said you didn't need Google. All right, welcome to the thirty first episode of High Vibe, guys. Oh, you got your God. boy Booze down here on the end. <laughs> Solo dolo, looking extra lonely. <laughs> oh man, shit, it's hard. Uh, <laughs> God damn, I was thinking of a Jay Z line. He's talking about a midget sitting on top of the shoulders of a giant. Anyway, you sit by yourself sometimes. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you got Asa Bay to the right, sporting that very fly, make the hood healthy again. No, this army ain't, that green. Ain't, Oh, the hat. The hat. I'm sorry. Uh, I was looking at the hat. Oh, okay, okay. But the, but the hoodie's fire too, though. It got his, uh, I don't know. super fire. Self-love. Who was that for him? Got a goddamn billboard on your back. Say self-love by any means necessary. And a phone number and an email address and a um, text. Website. Website? All that jazz, you know. <laughs> Who's, is that yours? Yeah. Okay. Just in case somebody at the, at the grocery store, they want to get touched up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Ice is fully marketing himself right hey. now. <laughs> wow. My mama fly. cussed me out the other day because I be pumping all my friends' stuff, so I had to just throw my stuff on the hood. That's real. real quick. That's 100% real. I'm tired real. of seeing everybody else's stuff. It's black, but it's not yours. I'm like, all right, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right, man. Facts. And then you have a kill tally. Hopefully them rocks give you some facts and some, some divine guidance in this conversation. The big homie. <sighs> the one and only. <laughs> a Shout kill. out to Instructor North Lake. This With show, the thrill. This show, I'm going to tap into my inner instructor Northlake <laughs> detachment <laughs> and go with the flow. I'm not getting attached Boom. to any thought process or arguments, any of that. Let's go with the flow. Yeah, starting to show off lying. And I wish North Northlake was here, though, because you know what? He does have a very calming demeanor. Like, I'm sure he would, like, he would tapper this down. Guys, when you see a bird fly over a tree, he's fighting against wind, <laughs> not himself. It's like what? what <laughs> that is a great analogy, though, dog. We yeah. need we need some of that. We here. gotta have him on the show. We do. Come on, bro. He was on Ibrahim show. You know, shit. Yeah, and I think uh, he would love coming on our show. Hey, heck yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, we so have a boy in here doing fucking uh. Back spin kicks and shit. <laughs> in this small space and man, pull it off perfectly. Who's beating around the bush? Come on, man. What's up, bro? Because I know I'm about to have to argue. Like, I'm just trying to prepare we myself. We about to argue. Oh, man. This I is, we are. We this is to. the only request before we get started. If somebody's talking, let them talk. Uh-huh. If you want to, we can either go in a circle or you can you can raise your hand or something, but just be <laughs> respectful of the other person unless they just saying something completely retarded. Then you can shut them down. But... <laughs> Other than that, let's let's you know hear the person out, so we can see how dumb they sound before we come crushing <laughs> with facts. That's all. Yeah, well, that that I'm not worried about. All right, so <laughs> a lot of shit talking going on prior to this. This show is gonna be about conspiracy theories. Um, I guess we all got different takes on the man, and I'm one of the people's like I just need some solid evidence um, to kind of push me over a ledge sometimes, um, and like it's not that I don't think things can happen or exist in like you know, is these uh, agendas, I should say. I just think sometimes we, we want, with our perception of the world and our feelings get involved in what we think is going on as opposed to what the actual truth is. And, like, I might believe part of something, but not the whole thing. I'm, I'm one of the people that's, like, it's red, and I'm just, like, I, I tell people, like, life is uh, not black or white, it's shades of gray, right? 
it, to me that means that like it's rare that things are just like this or that. You know what I mean? I try to say it all the time because a lot like of somebody born on a cusp. What do you mean? Like if you're born on a cusp, you like oh. energy wise, you know, yeah. it's blended. You know, like the best of both worlds, or it's not like either or cutoff points per se. Because yeah. energy, you know. Re- like like when people say, oh, my God, Mercury is no longer retrograde, and you still got that residue from when it was, you know, for a few days or something. Yeah. You know? Or, I, or like, somebody's like, oh, he got shot because of this, you know what I mean? And, like, there's normally, like, a whole story behind it. It's not just that one instance that made it that that person got shot. Um, not referring to anything in particular. And when I say that, as much as just giving a scenario where it's like, this is rare life is black or white. And I try to I try to take a step back and look at the entire picture. Was sometimes it's like it it it'll be bigger or smaller, and I could be wrong a lot of the times too. Than than what um, a, a person might be trying to explain or, or break down to me. Um, we normally start with a news piece, and I did have one news piece of mine that we didn't discuss. But actually, I'm gonna break it up. I, was, I don't know if you guys are familiar. Did you see that video where that dude um, is rating this this lady? Like she's like, I want a dude who makes a hundred k. I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm, you, doing, uh, I'm not the best. I'm not. I'm not in tune with that guy. But I I go third on this one. All right. I mean, that, I mean, I asked y'all. So yeah. I thought it was a dope. Like you, you want to get some some foundation first, well, or what just what go at it? Well, it's our get, feedback. Uh, we can get foundation. Mean? So the foundation is. Uh, this lady goes on this guy's podcast, I'm assuming that's what it is, uh, and she basically says that I want a dude who makes X amount of dollars. How do I get to him? You know what I mean? And from there, the dude is like, he's being honest from his perspective and mm-hmm. saying that this is what I think, and this is what I think you should be really thinking about instead, and basically he berates the shit out of her. Flamed her life. He flamed her He flamed her life. At one point, he was like... uh, he says, rate yourself. And she goes, like, I'm like a five or six or something, I think he says. And then he goes, like, and then he starts to break down, like, how you look with makeup and this is what you achieve. And if you, you got a kid, you're in your mid-30s, you need to let that go and go find you a, a dude who makes, you know, who works at Taco Bell. I, I believe my favorite phrase from that entire thing was, with a sketchy baby daddy. <laughs> with sketchy <laughs> baby daddy. He held no punches. And you can't use seven. I, I, right. I, yeah, and he he doesn't he says sevens don't exist or some shit like that. So, I thought it was interesting because I was looking at some of the commentary on it. Uh, I see you go first, I go second, and he wants to go third. Just my feedback. What yeah. do I think about it? Yeah, um, I think that's an ex- excellent example of people having their opinions and perspectives, and him being the type of man that she was looking for. Mm. I think he was in a position, a qualified position, so to speak, to you know give his genuine. Opinion and perspective. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure. You know, people say it's somebody for everybody. I'm pretty sure it's like somebody out there who would like really like a her or something like some random, you know, dude or some random people. But for the bulk of people, I'm pretty sure the people in his uh, range or his uh, level of existence, you know, they would probably agree with them. You know, because somebody on my, on my level, I'm not I'm not doing you know seven seven figures and nothing like that yet. But shoot. I wasn't necessarily interested in the lady myself, you know, just as an observer. And I, I'll say, too, like, from – I watched him on another show later, and, like, uh, I listened to his story of who he is, why she was on the show, not be, based off of who he had made himself into being. And I was like, it's like if you watch an episode of Mario or some shit. Like, if you go to – you're not the daddy. You you put yourself on fucking the air to fucking look like a goddamn fool, like that was the thing about it. Like I, I saw where, like women was like, I can't believe he flamed her like that, and this, that, and the third, and it was like you know she went on this show knowing who this negro was, knowing that he fucking gets down like this, right? And like, what is he supposed to do? Change the the whole trajectory of his show to make her feel good, mm-hmm. and then be lying? Right. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like that ain't that ain't real. Now. I would never speak to a woman like that because I would never want to bring somebody down like that. You know what I mean? Especially publicly like that, too. Publicly. That's my big point. But the thing is, is why would you put yourself in a position to be whipped like that in public? Mm-hmm. You know, you notice what he do. He whipped that ass. And you know you ain't, you, and you saying, I can't, you already know that you're having issues obtaining this unreachable goal. So it's already something there. Like, you can't go in there unless you're just straight lying to yourself. Um, I am, 
I'm not going to say I'm the best observer, but I'm a pretty good one. And during the process, she kept going back to the phone and stuff as if, you know, and, you know, smiling and stuff as if she was having separate conversations. You know, like, check, check, tune in, check this out. I'm just assuming, you know, at this point. Mm -hmm. But it seems like she already knew what she was getting herself into. And she thought, you know, it was cute and, you know. Or what she was, she was down with the shits. So and, and, that's and, on her. And not and and the, the that's on her is like, she probably a step closer to actually getting what she wants as a result of getting getting berated. You know what I mean? Like, she didn't got some fame off this. She didn't got some clout yeah. off of this. She now in a position to at least you know say, look, I don't went viral off of this fucking plate. This thing with this dude because, I mean, like I agree. I, I personal opinion. I could be wrong, and this ain't to say that you know she shouldn't love herself more. But I felt like she went on that show in part. To get flamed, to get something from her getting flamed, she if she play her cards right, she could mess around and pull out a, a, a TV show. What's that 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 TV show like? The Flavor of Love and the, the or, or some Red the Table chance. type shit like Love Yourself Red Table. You know she could get a whole series though. Like this is why I'm qualified. Look at all these men showing up to get me. That's a whole like season right there or two. Mm -hmm. You know, remember T what's her name? Tiffany. What's the girl? New York. Who did, New I love York? New York. Like yeah. bro, come on now. Like if he if she was on the show Tiffany she would get Pollard. the same. I think she's pretty. All right, bulls. I do. All right, cool. I'm just saying. Like, did you did you watch the way. you watched the first season? I'm talking about the 2020 her right now. Okay, cool. She, uh, she is there. after she done capitalized on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. After she, like, what after she uh, little killed herself. Stuff. Yeah. She a little killed herself a little bit. Okay. It's like a very superficial. So it's she's not, pretty. It's not like on some like you know what she's the goddess mother earth type <laughs> shit. It's like she's she's you know like. So to the brother's point, that's not her. That's like what she. That's not how the creator designed her. That's how she came out and then tweaked herself with some ac extra bolts and nuts and. Oh like, no, she definitely tweaked, tweaked herself. For tweaked, sure. Just like uh, Ti's wife. I saw T.I.'s wave the other day, Tiny. She didn't do something to her face. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker look like Vivica Fox in 2000. It's like, how it's the crazy. fuck you do that shit? It's crazy. It's like they put a, a, a fucking, you, you seen the movie? Uh, a whole new head. Mask off? You remember yeah, that shit? Man, they, she got a, they masked off this babe. And yeah. Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim. You talking about with John Travolta? Lil and Kim uh, mask off. What's her recent... name? Oh, uh, face off. Face, face off. off. Face yeah. off. Yeah. Look yeah. him. Nicholas Cage. Lil' mm -hmm. Cage, her face off went left, though. Oh, <laughs> oh you ain't seen the latest one. Oh, she just got a new one. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> she look real good. That's the future, bro. This is the future. Like, customize yourself. You don't got to love yourself. You don't like yourself. Fuck that. Come to Dr. So-and-so. I'll tape you up. Look, Kim was getting Perhaps. to that point, though, where it's like, you ever seen, like, when the people just keep getting plastic surgery and they look like they all start to look the same? Like, they got these Catwoman. Catwoman vibes mm -hmm. about them. Look, Kim was on that cuff with Catwoman. She was the Catwoman. Yeah. She wasn't on the hey, cuff, man. She was fully into Catwoman season. Did huh. you see that, Akil? What? The way Booz is maneuvering and ducking and dodging his ass whooping. Like trying to pull oh, him. I don't think he yeah, is. No. Oh, I come think on. He and is. on He's top of that, look, and he <laughs> didn't even, he, he disrespected we every, her. We start, we start every show yeah, okay. with a news piece, which, right. I, which I continue to do. My bad for having structure. Hey. But anyway, can I touch on this? We, we, we don't do that. We don't can I, We do not do that. Because I was about to get you know, I'm, I'm talking shit, bro. Do your thing. Now, nah, this, this is me slapping your back real quick. <laughs> can, this, can, I, can I? I just wanted to drop my little opinion on it. On Catwoman? No, the, on the, the show. dude flaming. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, I thought he went a little too hard on her. You know what I'm saying? And I also think that as a person wanting people to operate out of their highest selves, you know what I'm saying, operate <laughs> out of the highest frequency, which is love, I don't feel like he gave her any, like, love, bro. Like, I mean, did he point out any positives in that? I don't remember. I don't think he, he did. He did say, I don't want to hurt your feelings or something like that. Yeah, like... Come on, man. Like, I get it. I get it. That's his platform. But Sensationalism. See, I, I felt like she kept setting him up for it, too. Like, he kept he kept being honest with her. And she'd be like, all right, but hold up. I hear you, but let me give you another angle for you to uh, slap me in the face. It's on her that she went on that show, knowing who the dude is. And even when you listen to it, he, he kind of like, he he's like... He's like, kept, kept doing this, like, oh, okay, you're going to make me say this, huh? You're going to make me go here, huh? Yeah, Because but... she wouldn't she wouldn't say, you know what, I see what you're saying, bro, and maybe I need to change my perspective a little bit because I, maybe, I, maybe I'm being unrealistic. I feel you. Let me get my point out, buddy. Jeez Louise. All I'm saying is operating out of your higher self and having them expectations on people, which I'm starting to have. And if 
the people that I'm around, like y'all, y'all operate out your highest selves, ninety nine point nine percent of the time. So I love being around y'all. But if it's a person, you know what I'm saying. I know my man get to a bag. I know sensationalism, sensationalism, is a thing in our society. It makes people become stars. You know what I'm saying. That's my man's platform. I get it. I get it completely. But my expectations of just human interactions are higher, bro. Like, there's a better way that you can get across your message to her that, hey, you're not as on the pedestal as you think you are, sis. Like, these are things you can definitely work on. He didn't have, he flamed her life, bro. He was basically calling her ugly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he it's, basically called her ugly for, for 10 minutes. Sit yeah, down. like, it's, it's a better way to handle that. She definitely signed up for what she got. And like you said, during the interview, she was definitely coming back with some real. I'm like, come on. No, don't. Uh, that's a softball, mama. Yeah. But, you know. Just hearing that made me think about how important it is for us to, when it comes to people that society might deem as ugly. Oh, my God. they saw, And you get a bucket of people in the room and they might think the same thing or have an opinion or whatever. We got to get more. Um, we have to uh, shift our thoughts to the point that we are um, more discerning and able to see the excellent things in that person, the beauty in that person. Because be, just like Stevie Wonder, for example, how he can't see the best with his physical eyes, but his brain and his ability to discern sound and, you know, different subtle movements is on 10. His next level. Like people who may not have that whole like oh my god you're so this you that all their life they might have developed some other skills and things and we need to start appreciating that type of beauty and you know all people but especially those you and know it ain't saying? like it ain't like when we were born or like during our inception when our, our dad's sperm cell hit the egg it wasn't like we were ushered into a room and like hey you pick your avatar like you pick how you look you pick how you did, 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 did. I mean, on a metaphysical level, you pick your parents. I get that part. I understand that part. Well, I guess, but I guess, I guess it's like like don't energy. say that in front of booze. Like uh-huh. energy, like energy meets like energy, and like she went on there being shallow. True, <laughs> she did, and he he responded in a shallow fashion. Like I don't know what else was supposed to transpire. You know what I mean? I, I just want think he could I want a guy a who makes way. a lot of money, and I got things to go on. Who? Wait, 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 wait though. Somebody <laughs> want to get an opinion. <laughs> Somebody want to get an opinion. You can right, respond. And I respond. And now, right, now, come on. Oh, you are a piece of work. Let's jump into it. Oh, jump but into I, it. all I was saying last, and I'm wrapping up, is that man, she. I want somebody who makes a lot of money, and I got a lot of things in my life to keep me from getting to it. I know what's going on. She was crazy, superficial. He says, "Yo, you might not be that attractive. I think I'm. I think I can get somebody. Let me let me be a little bit harder on you." Oh well, I'm still not listening to you. Let me be a little bit harder on you even more. I still, yeah, I'm still on the cuffs. But it's, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's up to. It's, then it's, let me pull out a flamethrower. But it's up to him to, like, some people might look at him and be like, "Yo, dude, this dude ugly." He ain't some. I guarantee you, as women out here, is like, "Yo, this dude, I wouldn't give him the time of the day." He said, "I can't keep him off with a stick." Because he's because he's a powerful male. Power and and translates. that translates to handsome to some women. You know what I'm saying? Like True. to I'll give my 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 shallow human honesty right here. If I see a super beautiful, pretty lady in the world's eyes, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. But if I see somebody who might be a eight, and you already know me, and she got the buns. You know that little that little thing on the on the internet that's going on where they got the two different things and you jump to one side <laughs> yeah, and it's the whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to the buns, bro. That just made her a tad bit more prettier in my eyes. That's my perspective. Mm-hmm. That's just how I'm cut. And, and what he did for a living before that was he was an image consultant. Mm-hmm. You know, like shit. This is what he 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 was he dealt in the world of looks and being shallow. Oh, you could tell. So that's why she went to him to get the person who who creates the images. I I am not. Listen to I what hear, I'm saying. I, I hear what I'm you're saying. I'm not I hear what you're defending saying. her going on the show. I hear what you're saying. My but that's, point. That's his show, though. That's, you, you go I, to Murray, and then you finna get you, the baby daddy. Oh! <laughs> oh! You know, like, that's the show. That's, the, that's the setup. I 100% understand his platform. What I'm saying is, I don't agree with his platform. That's it. You uh, don't that's think all. it should be in existence, uh, yeah. is what you're saying? Uh, I don't think... 
the way that he handled that episode because I I've never watched him prior to that. <clears throat> I've only seen one. I only seen him guest star and got on one thing for like another pod. He was on another podcast just giving who he was. Yeah, I didn't I didn't agree with how he handled that episode. And then there was an episode following that where he was talking to like a twenty year old young cat who was like overweight and he was just like flaming like you're fat you ain't got this you ain't got that oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I heard this like, where he's like dude you got a big dick yeah he he's was like, going yeah. in on him like i don't know what that is <laughs> nigga you know if you got a <laughs> everybody, everybody <laughs> know if they got it yeah that was unnecessary that's a 20 year old kid bro like, like but the thing and is, you're a 50 year old man in yo, your 50s you got to handle that a little bit differently in my perspective okay, but is it would it have been better if he lied no i'd there, there are two ways to skin, or more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. Like, I can have a conversation with a younger guy and have to tell him some brutal, honest truths without tearing him down, too. But True, but you're not worried about ratings. When there you we go. There we go. I think y'all missing what I'm saying. My, I I, underst- mean, I get his platform. I know what his platform is. I, com- I've, I, I mean, completely get his search for the bag and all that. All I'm saying is, if we're talking on a spiritual level, let me give level, you that spiritual response. Spiritual love level is response the then. highest frequency possible. Absolutely. None of what he was saying was love, bro, bro, bro. Two things: one, ninety nine point nine 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 percent of people. Let me add some more nines on that. They ain't trying to hear that shit. They don't give a fuck about love. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem, That's though. The, that yeah, so yeah, it's a problem. Per, like to to you, that's your perspective. But everybody's at their own level. Since we having that spiritual talk, they're at their own level when it comes to their growth and development. So they might not be where you at yet. So pat yourself on the back and be appreciative of where you have taken yourself spiritually. Right mm-hmm. on the other side, the first thing I wanted to say was since we're dealing with spirituality and high science and stuff like that, you can't have one without the other. That type of thing needs to be in existence in order to polarize whatever the good thing is. You can't have up without down. There would be no such thing as good if there wasn't bad. You know what Facts. I'm saying? Okay. We wouldn't even have a, some some reasoning for appreciating people who were good or whatever pretty if it wasn't for people that didn't look the opposite. So is that how you approach people in your consultations? I'm assuming sometimes. One of the sometimes first. Sometimes you give heavy one Hand of the, it. Yeah, but I, I get permission first because one of the first things I do, like in the first five minutes, I ask the person, what is your, what are you religious? If not, what is your spiritual practice? How do you see yourself, you know, in your relationship with the universe or the creator of the universe, et cetera? And from that response, I can gauge whether or not I'm going to speak their language. If they like a full blown Christian and I'm this and I'm, yeah, I go to such and such church and I pray, I'm going to talk that language. I'm going to go to scriptures, et cetera. Same thing if they was a Muslim or whatever type of, you know, black group sect, you know, people be on. Or Science Temple, I'm going to talk that language to them. Noble Drew Ali, to, yeah, well, you, But your you, setup is a little different than old boys. Than who? The, the subject of the news topic. That's cool, but my point is. You like, only come that, from one angle. That's cool. That's him. You use discernment. And compassion. That don't make me no better than him. I'm just saying. You got to have... I'm not... That don't make me better, bro. That's your perspective. My point here is that you have to have things like that in existence for other things to exist. There will be no point... We just talked about Star Wars, right? What the fuck is a Jedi if it's not no type of opposition or person on the dark side? You know what I'm saying? I understand that, but... What the fuck... What's the point of... Of making a whole bunch of money and being rich if there's not a such thing as not being wealthy and being poor. I understand that. But one is better than the other one, right? Better to who? Perspective. Rich is better than poor. I mean, like, if you were a Buddhist, you would say that you, you want nothing in life. You want to have no material. Perspective. It's perspective. But they're rich. Perspective, bro. Rich in what? Spirituality, rich in love, rich in their heart. That's that's a perspective. Right. Your perspective right. you made, is you damn made, you, near your God, you bro. Made, we were talking about as far as wealth goes. I think that's what he was talking about. I don't think he was talking about just like in general wealth. I think he was saying like rich or poor as far as money. Watch this next conversation and how booze be on tip for the rest of the show. Because well, his perspective, well, because I, of the wear of glasses around his pineal gland, well, he's going to see things a tad bit different. But the thing and is, though, on top of that, I just wanted to keep up. No, no, you did. Because you did, you did, I was going to transition because Akil isolated himself in this conversation. And I felt like it was the perfect time for me to go into the next one, right? <laughs> so you got you to gotta be, be strategic with this shit. Now chess he, moves, baby. Yeah, you know, it's, it's chess we moves. We got Check us. We're going to revisit this love uh, topic because I got some real questions. But anyway, let's go.
Um, I I got some heavy questions, but let's go. Well, we appreciate love if it wasn't for hate and deceit and mm. all that other stuff. No, I understand if, if, if polar was, opposites, if, if but y'all no telling dark, me y'all telling me not, hate is better than love? I'm not saying one is better than the other because it's obvious. Love is better than hate. That's obvious. Better. Right? All I'm saying is better is a perspective. Because if you're dealing with somebody who doesn't think like you, think about a white supremacist right now, bro. They are not, if you were, if you were in their brain and their psyche right now, they're not necessarily doing anything bad. The mm. birth rate is down. Mm. The, the, look at ISIS papers from Dr. Francis Cress Wilson, mm. right? The, the genetics and everything. Like it's, they, they're fighting and they're doing what they might think is the best in their opinion and their perspective. And I'm not trying to hype them up or give them no, I no what, juice what, or I, what, what he's saying is, my he, point what he's saying is, is perspective dictates how you view a situation as whether it's good or bad, period, man. Like, and that, and that perspective of that guy and that lady, he felt like he was doing what was good for her. She felt like she, going to see him and being degraded was, was, was putting her in a position to win. Like, let's get to the let's matter. get to this let's get to the show topic. Cause what was that face for? Let's talk about y'all it. Not, I love y'all. <laughs> y'all not making what? no sense right now. How, but how, how are we not making sense? Let's get to the show topic. Please, just say because this is going to seconds. derail us. Sixty seconds, bro. Sixty well, we seconds. Is, how are we not making sense? Black and white love is better than hate. But let's go. Y'all just tried to justify hate being better than love. Let's go. Let's go to the I show. I completely understand what you're saying. My point is that this the one is not able to exist without the other. I, and better is simply a perspective. Because uh, on the no. other side of that, that you can't tell somebody who think with hate, et cetera, and they got a genuine reason. Somebody killed but, and slaughtered their whole family or whatever. The universe might know love is, is supreme or whatever. The sun is beaming every day, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, it's no way you about to... Like literally transform your brain and your perspective into that person overnight, you know what I'm saying? No, and that but, and that was essential and necessary for certain lessons to get learned. But it it just doesn't make sense to say that the universal language and what the universe operates on is love, but that what hate is love and hate in perspective. What is love? Because love baby might look like me. baby, don't hurt me. No more. What is love? <laughs> Yo, you see this shirt right here? You see this shirt right here? Who was on my shirt, bro? Come on, man. Who was on my shirt? Who was on my hoodie? Who Come is on. this? Come on, bro. Who is it? Come on, bro. People can't see my shirt, so please say it so we, we're not killing time. Come on. Heru. Heru, on. right? Heru. Heru is not equal to love. Heru, people be talking all that Jesus, I came to love and came to be in peace and I love everybody. Heru came to tap that ass. They killed his dad, right. supposedly in the mythology, right? right. Heru straight up with the sword and the guns, and I came to avenge my father. Fuck you, I'm about to bust your ass. Mm -hmm. That might That's love to a degree, but somebody might see that as hate. It's all perspective. All right, let's get to the show. Come on, all right, for <laughs> sure. Let's get to it. Let's get to the show topic. Oh, yeah, with the Bulls. Captain, I don't get on the phone, and I blaze everybody for being on the phone. It's yeah, on the phone, buddy. Oh, well, y'all had this long ass deep ass debate. Nick, that hand on the wing. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we gave ourselves nine minutes for the actual show topic, so well, let's go. Hey, man, this ain't my fault. Uh, the show topic today is talking about conspiracy <laughs> theories. Uh, now that we didn't got out of love, what a what a weird ass transition. This this is going to something completely irrelevant to the killer ISIS fucking debate about. Whatever. Um, so, on the show, we often talk about conspiracies, like we, conspiracy theories. We are touching them lightly, and uh, you know, I, I think uh, I can't remember who said it, but like the word conspiracy is needs to probably be replaced at some point. You know what I mean? Because this is different. Um, I would say is, um, I would say that it's a disrespectful term. You know what I mean? Or is used as a disrespectful term, and um, it's not necessarily the best terminology for it but you know a kill live in that world i got a feeling dave do too um and no, no, I, i'm gonna stop you right there dude no conspiracy theories in some cases is exactly the right term it, i mean like because people will see people will spend 87 hours watching like 300 youtube videos trying to find confirmation bias and to go answer shopping <laughs> instead of just accepting the mm. truth like okay like everybody like so way back in the day, 
I was the, and the like comp you serve. So pre internet days, um, I was a sysop in the uh, mysteries and unexplained phenomena of which conspiracies was one of the big message sections. So dude, all the JFK conspiracy nuts, all of them. And there's a phenomenal book by Gerald Posner called Case Closed um, that basically takes every single JFK conspiracy theory and annihilates it. And the biggest point that he makes in there is that the human brain needs balance. And so when you have the might and majesty of the JFK presidency with, you know, Camelot and Jackie and all that kind of stuff, you can't balance that out against this dipshit loser named Lee Harvey Oswald that, like, basically bailed out of the U.S. and then bailed out of Russia because he couldn't hack it there either and just sucked at life. It's hard to say that he balances out all this. Or, like, 9-11. It's physically impossible to balance out this wackadoo over in the Middle East and 19 guys killing hundreds of Americans and changing the very foundation of our society. It had to be an inside job. Forget the fact that our government couldn't even keep a blowjob secret but it has to be a government inside job. It was. Oh, did I did I jump into that too? <laughs> no, that was, that it was, ain't hundred percent was. was. But okay. I. What about Oklahoma City? The bombing in Oklahoma City, nineteen ninety four. Uh, Tim McVeigh. Mm-hmm. So they, yeah, that's two wackadoos that bought a whole bunch of fertilizer and did their thing. Cool. So how did they get the bombs into a federal building? Because they didn't. Dur- get no, no. Yeah, yeah, they did, Dave. I can send you information. During the news feed, right afterwards, they have the ATF pulling bombs out of the building. The newscaster says, they just told us we have to move further back. There are bombs in the building. See those bombs right there on top of that ATF truck? They're willing those away from us so that we're safe. Literally live. Mm-hmm. Live news coverage in Oklahoma City as is happening. The person who actually was there, my favorite quack from the 90s, was Alex Jones. Is in his 9-11 Road to Tyranny uh, video. Live, I, I'll send it to you. If if I recall correctly, oh, said the vast Alex majority Jones. of those were proved yeah, to man. not be <laughs> If I recall correctly, the vast majority of what they were talking about, like, they were things like propane tanks They were th- that were in the building for perfectly no. legitimate purposes. No, no. I'll, I'll, I'll send everybody okay. here the video. But, but they have video of the truck pulling up in front of it and blowing up. Like that's there's no footage. they got video they got video of the truck pulling up and then the camera going black. If you can send me video of them actually having because all the cameras in that area were down, and that morning they told the ATF to not come into the office. I I did so much research on this. We could we could definitely exchange information okay. about that one. I know more about the Oklahoma City bombing than the nine eleven shit. Well, that makes you the expert in the room. Everybody clap it up. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I literally, I would, also, I would have to go back and do more research on that one. So Just, they, yeah. brought, they brought in a dude that worked for the government who did this dossier that was like thousands of pages big, long, whatever. And he said, there is no way that that truck could have done the damage that it did to that building. It blew literally the building off the face of the building off. This dude was okay, from I've, the U.S. government. No, I, I get that, but I've seen plenty of other people that have said, yes, it absolutely could. Sort of like the whole, oh, jet fuel doesn't burn hot enough to melt steel. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it does. And 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 how to play, how, you know. At, what what does steel melt at? What I'd ha- I don't want to quote the wrong number. But, but I jet mean, fuel don't even get close to that. Jet fuel can't even burn but, that but high But that's the thing. It, it doesn't have to melt steel. It just has to weaken it. In 45 minutes? Yeah. Uh, nah, Dave. Yeah, I, I would love to have this conversation with actual, like, where we actually dive into it and talk about it. Because then after those, quote, unquote, 19 terrorists, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They brought the pictures of them out. 2,750 degrees Fahrenheit is how much it takes to melt steel. Yeah. 2,750 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep. Yeah. And like I said, it doesn't have to melt it. It just had to weaken it. Because the thing you have to How keep in mind. How high does jet fuel get? So, but keep in mind, you're talking about the, so number one, the World Trade Center. And it didn't hit the bottom. So how did it, it weaken the bottom? So it didn't have to. So the World Trade Centers, when they were built, were built to withstand the largest aircraft known at the time. And even a bit bigger. They, like, they were built to withstand up to a 727. They were built in like them. the 80s, right? 
or the seventies. Seventies. Yeah. They were built. They were built, to, or even yeah, but they were built to withstand up to like a seven twenty seven hitting them, and like the biggest plane at the time was like a seven oh seven. So now you're talking seven fifty sevens and seven sixty sevens, which are an order of magnitude bigger, carry an inordinate, an inordinately larger amount of fuel, flying into the building and taking out a vast number of support beams on their way through. So as the fuel goes through, like I said, it doesn't have because okay, so you've lost, I, I if I recall correctly, I have to go back and look. You've lost a third to a half of the support beams where they hit. So you've already got an untenable situation. Now you've got burning fuel in there in an already weakened structure that all it has to do is make them give the slightest bit. Cause, and they're already on their way out because they're supporting half the structure. And so if you watch when they collapse, like all- They collapse like a demolition, like an explosion From the top though. down. But like an explosion From though. the top down. Why did the firefighters say that they uh, had explosions in the basement? When they interviewed the firefighters sitting in the lobby, they said, we were in the lobby trying to get upstairs and we got blown up from beneath us. So where, like, where does, how did the jet fuel get they into don't, the... I mean, some of that stuff may not have been explained, but I mean, okay, so how do you have 5,000 people signing affidavits saying they saw election fraud at TCF? Eyewitness testimony is by and is far and above the worst testimony to rely on or the worst evidence to rely on. They, it was the it was the firefighters as it was happening. I, I get it. I, I'm I'm gonna just I'm gonna get everybody's info and send y'all the stuff Please. that I got for your for this um, not argument but this conversation right here. I don't to, give out my info to, to any and everybody, bro. I already got you. <laughs> <laughs> For you, Akil, I, I would just ask a different question. Mm -hmm. So I would ask, why didn't so many people show up for work? Why were so many people absent from work? Because uh, they were called ahead of time. Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying told I'm, not to come in. I'm, bro, I'm trying to help you out on your on with. Cause no, it, no, no. It, I, I just answered the question. That me. <laughs> I'm I'm saying you why don't you answer ask that question? Oh, right, 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 him, right, right. Bozo. Got you. Got you. I'm Look. sorry. I thought you were asking me. No. That. Yeah. I'm trying to help know. you out to like, I like, how, like through that. We came in this room heads. one way and I was like, I jet out my trick y'all Negroes. <laughs> and now this, this, this <laughs> whole conversation is just like a, a left move. Yeah, yeah, no, and, and, and now you're saying answer that. Statistically speaking, there were statistically speaking, there were not more people absent that day than any other day. No, no, no. I'm saying the people who weren't absent, why were they absent? Why did the ATF not show up in Oklahoma City? Like, the whole office. Uh, right, so, What's so, some other stuff, bro? Because I'm, not, bro, I'm I, not the I most... Can, let's, let me, let's, I can go way into let's that. Let's one. take it. Let's take it I'm talking about, in general, some other conspiracy theory topics. The fact, I'm not... I'm not well, like, the fact that our like government... That. The fact that our government bombed our own submarines in the 40s and 50s to start or to invade Cuba, a false flag attack by L.L. Lemonser, who was the uh, general, the colon at the col the colonel at the time. That's that's an colon. actual that's an actual story you can look up. L.L. Lemonser put together a plan to bomb our submarines in Cuban water. Blame it on Cuba so they can go into Cuba. So now, false, that's 100% true. That's a false flag attack. Well, yeah, dude. I mean, false flags have been around since the dawn of time. Yeah. Like, that's that's absolutely a but thing. But why? I think, I think what Achilles, maybe he's, maybe it's a Why real, would your government attack <laughs> I think, your... I think he's trying to say that, like, maybe 9-11 is a false flag attack. Maybe that's what he's trying to call I'm 100% saying that. So, like, and I get it. Like, it's, it's it seems like a big... Um, but like here, this is the question that I always come back to. Yeah. Drop it. How is it possibly still a secret? It's not. But it is. It's so much stuff that's but, come out. It's just okay, people but have how is, not. How is it not commonly accepted fact? How do you not have Dave, 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 credible, Dave, verified Dave, eyewitnesses? Dave, Dave, there are people in front of the fucking White House saying Trump didn't lose this goddamn election. Are you seriously going to ask how do people not believe something that could be very <laughs> in front of their face? Come okay, on, bro. But, so, but here's it, the thing. It was somebody no, was in no, the that's fucking... Ex that's exactly what I'm saying. That, that's the world we live in. All of the factual evidence out there, Trump lost the election. And it's okay. pe and the people who so are willing to die factual, right now. All of the factual evidence out there, 9-11 was run by bin Laden. I mean that's and there's a situation we created ourselves, dude. Who created Bin Laden? The CIA. I see, I see what you just did right there. Damn it! 
That was pretty good. So I mean that's 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 the thing. I mean that's that. I mean so from that standpoint, that is a situation we created ourselves because we created Bin Laden. Just did right there. But But can we address like the okay? Nine eleven is in the wind. We don't know. It's a conspiracy theory. Oklahoma City is a conspiracy theory. We don't know if it happened or not. Can we address why there would even be a need for false flag attacks? Yeah, I, I think I think I think. The one thing is like there are multiple agendas and it's like we were arguing, I guess that's what I kinda came back to is like I guess there I, I was seeing one agenda being accomplished, you seeing not all the agendas, and I'm like, shit, if I'm only try, like if I'm trying to pass the test, right, and I look I shit, I I just wanna pass. Shit, I might just want a seventy five or uh eighty. I might just wanna I might just take that shit. That's how I get down sometimes. <laughs> so 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 it's like we, and then y'all were like, nah, it's not 110, though. That's what they were shooting for, 110. And I was like, uh ah. You just wanted to pass the test. These, I think they just wanted, this, like, at the end of the day, this big thing right here, as long as this is kind of done, everything goes. Like, of course, I want the fucking, like, you know, kudos and get my name at the top of the list or whatever. Teacher Bulls, you killed it. Murdered all these motherfuckers in class. Right? But for me, I just really want to get past this bitch and uh, get out of this class and move on to the next grade. You know, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's what the, the the difference perspective was. Also, real quick, Dave, if you don't invest in some fucking shades in this motherfucker, I am turning <laughs> two shades blacker right now, all right? It's, God it's, damn. Dude, and honestly, that's a challenge that I've had ever since we opened it, is I can't find shades that will fit in oh, here. Sorry. Like, I, I have to, I have to have them custom made. It's, do only, some... it's only a 19-inch sill. We're going to do some ghetto shit and just get, like, some some tacks and a, and a sheet and throw that boy up there. <laughs> <laughs> ghetto. Please, please don't. Actually, so actually, one of the, so now that we've we've actually, we've shut down the, uh, the Royal Oak Studios, and I actually have a, you know what, that might actually work. I have a long curtain rod for one of the windows that I had there. And I could probably span that across both of them and put two sets of. I might be able to do that. I'll Dave, take all right. Cause Only for Booze's window. I'm enjoying myself right now. The <laughs> sun is so phenomenal. I want to jump in right here. Me just being hot. <laughs> I had to come out this shirt in a second, just like you just came out your shirt. That's, that's why I just turned the air on because it, 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 I, I didn't realize it was. I didn't realize it was 70. Oh yeah, there. that's why I took my uh, jacket off. The sun definitely increases the temperature in my body. As it but you is. know, typically I'm in this boy like anemic. Okay. Go ahead, Asa, with your hand up like we in class. I got exactly. 110%. That's why I get to keep talking. For everybody else who's anemic, like a kill over here, you can hit my line so we could correct those issues. I just said I was That's how I felt like I was. What, what, anyway. How do we reach out to you from the soul? Just, you know, why not plug you real quick? Oh. So on our Instagram, A-S-A-N-X-B-E-Y, Asa NX Bay, or you can hit up the business line, 313-948-9451. If you got any issues going on that your doctor is having trouble with, you know, scratching their head about, you can hit me up and we can come up with some solutions. Mother Nature, some ancient techniques, some modern day techniques. We could customize however you want to, but we can get you back rolling so you can be situated. But that's neither here nor there. Did we talk about Dave oh, real quick sipping on your tea? Dave, Dude, this stuff's good. Hey, man, that's all I needed to hear. That's Chrissy all I needed crack. to hear. That's the, yeah, I'm putting it in, in all crack. the stores for sure. Now, Booz, what you were saying, Mm -hmm. to kind of not go against what I was saying before, but now that I have a better understanding because you clarified what you were saying about, you know, the bigger picture and them like wanting to just pass, um, my feedback on that is that everything that has a beginning has an ending, correct? Mm. Somebody is born, they're going to die, right? right? So my my, um, point in in responding like this is... Energy never is, can never be destroyed. He can dirty bitch. Shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My point here is that no matter what America was trying to do, and this is kind of like synth- synthesizing both of you guys' points, no matter what America was trying to do, whatever their agenda was, at the most, at their best, they could only preserve the... Uh, illusion or whatever they had going on or whatever their agenda was with the oil because eventually oil is going to get outdated. You're going to have free energy resources. This shit is outdated like, now. It's just we're forcing it down a, people's throats. Outdated in the sense where it's accepted and, and, and actually, you know, um, 
not dealt with by the masses. And, and like you're saying, like it will be like a, it will come to an end one way or another. You know exactly. I mean? yeah, so yeah. they 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 might their plan might have been to preserve whatever they were doing so they could milk that as much as they could for you know whatever period of time. Um, now back to damn, I forgot what I was else I was about to say. You were saying about uh, big picture. You were trying to combine our thoughts as far as what we were kind of going. Back no, 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 it was two points to that though. So I'm gonna okay. let that. I'm gonna let that first one slide. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You were talking about America and how they get down with things. You know, now uh, in ancient Kemet, you had a principle um, that we call ma'at, right? Righteousness, mm, law, mm, order, mm. truth, balance. That's a spiritual practice mm. of mental, a mentality, right? A spiritual yeah. conditioning. In America, these motherfuckers is not thinking like that. They're fucking devils. You know what I'm saying? To a degree, you got some people that's in there that really genuinely want to do good. But you also have those people that's holding seats and that's like like really thriving and living and holding on to old played out mentalities and customs and cultures, etc. That don't necessarily have the, the uh, Americans' best interest in, in mind or the world's, you know, yeah. for that matter. I, so what can... You would have to expect with since you want to you know like a kid have that discerning eye. You want you can only expect for them to do things and act from that manner of thinking. We can't expect them to have like righteous like you know high vibrational type of actions and contributions to humanity. That's how they get down because that's how they think. Look at their spirit. Anytime you want to see what anybody's doing, look at their spiritual system and their actions, and eventually like you know the the fruits of their labor are going to reflect. That spiritual practice, yeah, and also this current society we're, we're living in is born out of a um, a really dark place. You know what I mean? Like, so it's just like it's kind of you know when people were saying like Trump would say make America great, and then people say when was America great type shit. You know what I mean? To say that like sometimes we're trying to preserve this bullshit that we do live in, and I get where you're going from, and that's that's what I think things like false flags attacks are. Attempts to expand the power to preserve the bullshit that we live in, and um, I guess why I kind of was like on some. I get what you. So I, I'd agree with you. So like even let's even if it wasn't a false flag, or even if it was a false flag, so everything traces back to Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan. Mm. Where 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 did, where did we send troops? Iraq. <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because, like, even, I mean, even at the time, that made no sense to me. And, even if, and, and just to go to what you're saying, like, even if it wasn't a false flag, they still had an agenda. They, like, the, it was a clear agenda no matter what. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, they, they was like, shit, we going over here. Well, that was, that was Bush Jr. still angry that someone had made an assassination attempt on his dad. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what that was. And, and the D de- stabilized the Middle East, though, man. I think that was, like, I think. Oh, taking out Saddam Hussein did not work out in our best interest whatsoever. I mean, he might have been an absolute raging dick. But he did keep people in line. Yeah. Well, he kept that. He kept that fucked up structure that was in that was yeah. going on over there in in order. Because uh, it's much like America, where it's like a real violent. It was it it had its its origins and a lot of what goes on in those countries were kind of fucked up too. Hey, could you guys stop doing that? I just <laughs> showed him the Wikipedia story of LL Lemonster setting up uh, Fidel Castro in Operation Northwoods. Did your phone go off in the show? Nope. My, oh my did your God. phone go off in the show, Dave? Um, yeah, because it just did it make a, there we go. <laughs> did it make a big noise? Yeah, no, it just well, dude, my stupid phone ran an update this morning, like a system update, and now I it won't not vibrate when it does shit. But it didn't yeah. ring real no. loud like Booze's though, I right? Do that now because when you were talking earlier, Booze's phone was like I had to turn my head and see what was going well, on. This show definitely had a lot of turns, and it was eleven fucking fifty eight, and I feel like I came out of winter for some reason. If you do the argument inside the car, I'll right, so tell you know. what. Here's here's my request for the next time you guys come in. Are we gonna hit? You want to hit nine eleven and Oklahoma City, or you want to focus on one? We could do either. Because I'll deep dive. Yeah. And I and I'll come back ready for sure. All right. Yes. We can. A kill versus Oklahoma. Dave. No oh, hell no. <laughs> this will be a uh, pay per view. <laughs> this will just be a. Uh, uh, Let's get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask, you, who's Nate Robinson in this picture? <laughs> oh damn, bro. yo! I thought about him when you talked about that lady. Like, ain't nobody asked you to come on the show. Like, bro, you you not a professional boxer. Hey, I hey, hear that storyline. Like, people not the hey, people that people okay, roasting him. Like, he thought he was just going up against some YouTube kid. Like, that's the funny part. Like. He he, had, he he knew kids, he knew kids the, actually a boxer like he does all right 
in he, his prior he, matches. He he knew he was going to – he was real arrogant. And, like, I like Nate Robinson because he's a confident dude. But, like, I wouldn't – that's like we do martial arts, right? I don't care if I'm fighting a lady that's, like, big as Ida. If she, if she a green belt, I'm going to fucking be, like, real scared that she's going to beat the shit out of oh, me. Oh, she's going to beat the shit out of and me. And Nate Robinson, when that motherfucker, yes. like, you know what? <laughs> I'm a professional athlete, bro. I dunk. I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> I'm agile. I'm – I have fucking played football almost on a professional level before. <laughs> you you gonna you gonna throw them hands on me? Oh, yeah. you you've been training for this for two straight years. Huh? You been training, training. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, but man. that oh yeah, Nate Robinson. Who's Nate Robinson gonna be? We gonna find out on that episode. <laughs> we gonna find out on the next episode of the Hard if it's, Hog. Guys. If it's uh, the Oklahoma City bombing, I'm already ready for that one because I did so much research on that one. Oh my god, yeah. I, I got I got like. Tons and tons of stuff on that one. I'm gonna take a nap during that episode. As y'all well, appreci- appreciate you uh, endorsing <laughs> our show. Hey man, sweet. I'm just saying, that's I'm right, not gonna what? get to talk. I'm it's not like, gonna get to say shit. It's like our show when we have uh, Fred, our infectious disease guy, in. Bob's eyes glaze over because <laughs> because he and I sit there and nerd out for two hours about like biochemistry and epidemiology and all that and just numbers and data and science and yada 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 and Bob's just like, <laughs> <laughs> Bob, are you playing PS Five, bro? <laughs> we'll we'll figure out another title for conspiracy theory shows because I don't like that because I feel like that negative kind of take. Even Dave was like, yeah, 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 clickbait, yeah, yeah. clickbait. Uh, we'll it's figure clickbait. out. We're gonna figure out a name for those shows because. I think I think this is something we can revisit on a, on a regular basis, man. Um, with different things that go on in society. Ooh, we didn't even touch on what we could have went hard on. Mm, y'all didn't even What's think that? about this vaccinations. Ooh, that would have been nice. I know y'all would have had some some shit to say. <laughs> I'm, I was just gonna look, pull up all them damn articles been coming up recently about you know people getting the shots and having fucking you know Did issues I, a couple hours afterwards. Did I say this on the show. My mom was like, uh, "Yeah, I'm getting vaccinated as soon as it come out." I was like, "For fucking what? When is, <laughs> how are you jumping in front of the line? How are you cutting?" <laughs> I'm not taking a vaccine because I don't know what's in it. Yep. Okay, real quick, tell me what's in a pop tart. <laughs> I could, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I could, but. But the, you cannot Ooh, it's, a quick, it's a lot of it's a lot of Capri It's a lot of isolates in that motherfucker. Man, that, it's a ooh, lot of yes. Does, real quick, that does bring a good point. Like so fake. If I wanted to like injectulate you guys or something, I could put it in. Say some, that word. Say that word again. Inje- Jack. Inject. You I, just that was somewhere, that was somewhere between inject, inoculate, yeah, and yeah, ejaculate. I was, I was like, what? What? <laughs> oh, okay. I like what? your creativity, oh, booze. <laughs> God, I like your creativity. All right. If you were to just inject us, roll the credits. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you say if you were just to inject us with what? I, I wanted to inject you guys with something. If I wanted to put something in your system, fluoride in the water, man. Couldn't I just put it in like fucking some real basic shit that you wouldn't there's, even suspect? There's your conspiracy theory. Of course, you I'm just saying so. So like, so I'm, I'm just, I'm just, uh, just. Of this, course you could. So like, the but that fact, would. I'm assuming at some point in time that would back like. How would you be able to make sure that that didn't backfire in some fucking way to make it like a big deal? Like they ain't no whistleblower that come out and be like, you know, the government been putting microchips in pop tarts for the last twenty years, right? But but what I was gonna say, like, remember earlier when I was that like, has a really good chance of blowing up in their faces. But remember earlier when I was like, we talked about Iraq, and I was like, shit. Sometimes you just want to pass. You know, you know, like so you expect for some that ain't passing though. If that came out that they mass. Produced pop tarts but, with but look, microchips or some shit but, in but it, look, bro. But look, look, like we were just saying though, it's like when we were talking about the Trump uh, people who don't believe in facts that they lost. Like, it takes a lot to convince everybody of the same thing of anything at this point. So it's like you might get away with it even if it comes out, which is what I'm trying to. What I was trying to say earlier is like shit be coming out and still be fucking like people don't take it as fucking like facts even when it is. Mm-hmm. Kind of like who? Like how, like, how like fucking we just, we, true story. You know who the first? You know the name of the first man that got the uh, the vaccine yesterday in England. What's his name? McLeod. William Shakespeare. You know who's never gonna believe that? The entire internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. Dude, dude's name legit. They should have. They should have. They should have been like, yeah. "Yeah, bro, you can't." You got. And that's and that's gonna be like one of those. <laughs> to be like, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. Sure. Abraham Lincoln. Like it's gonna be that. Yeah. Like I said, people are never. People are hey, never bro. gonna believe. That in 2020, the first guy that got the vaccine in England he was like, named William Shakespeare. He first in line like this. I'm ready. <laughs> hey, uh, what's your name? My yeah. name is Bill Shakespeare. William, uh, William Shakespeare. 
Hey, why don't you we're, head to the back of the we're line, bro? We gonna, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, we're this gonna, ain't going. This ain't going to look we're right, take bro. Take Rob Williamson. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, we're gonna take him and get him. Anna Johnson, get your ass up here. <laughs> is there a Raphael in the crowd? Right. <laughs> this just don't seem right. I commit. Somebody. Uh, All right. We I'm, doing gratitudes. Yeah, we could do. Let's 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 write it up. So let's end it with a uh, a little round of um appreciations. Appreciations. Can I go first? Yes. Gang gang. Uh, I know that we didn't appreciate these guys before, but it really came to light for me over the last like couple weeks. Like Booz just mentioned, uh, me and Booz are in a virtual uh, martial arts class, uh, Kempo. I say it's a green belt in Kempo. So, you know, he didn't been through what we're trying to achieve. I mean, he killed the bear with he his bare hands. The bear. Blindfolded. Punched through nine metal boards. And the bear was known for killing men. <laughs> <laughs> the bear was known for killing and eating men named Asa. So <laughs> I'm going to let but, that fly. <laughs> it sounds real sweet. That sounds nice. Yeah. It, yep. Well, you, know, we, we, uh, we, you know, we take virtual classes on Saturdays um, through Zoom. We got different opportunities to go into the actual dojo, the physical dojo, which I've been to three times now. Um and this past couple weeks, uh, booze can attest, like, at work, we were pulling some crazy hours, some crazy hours. Like, come in at 1, 2 o'clock, leave out at 1 in the morning. Yeah. Uh, and we have homework assignments for this virtual class that we're supposed to turn in every Wednesday by midnight. And for me, I was telling myself the whole time, like, man, you just – you. It's too much. Like you, your time, you don't have time. Da, 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 da. And I reached out to our lead instructor, instructor Keith, instructor Northlake, and I was kind of like, man, I, I'm just having issues with my time management. And he gave me such like calm and energy, and like such a dope. I was expecting, like I told Booze before, I didn't tell multiple people before. At my job, he comes in on a regular basis, and. He has, he has a demeanor where it's powerful and a little intimidating, but also real calm. You know what I'm saying? So anytime I see him and I ain't true turn my power. homework in, true power, if I ain't turn my homework in or anything, anything, and I see him, I'll be like, like I see my dad, bro, like, oh, no. Oh, no, he over there and he seen me. I can't <laughs> pretend like he didn't see me now. But I was so nervous approaching this uh these homework assignments because I was late and I reached out to him and he calmed me all the way down. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you doing Pause. fine. How is that? I hate this culture. God almighty. You can't say nothing. He can't. Another man can't calm another man down. Just and just not. God, I hate you so much. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I'm going back to like 1993. <laughs> <laughs> You do the kid and play dance. We're a hot tough. I had hair. Dude, oh, that was kid. when when they said we couldn't shake hands anymore. That was my proposal. Was you had to do the kid and play kicks. Let's do it, bro. That's, I I I mean, I actually do that with one of my coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, long gratitude. I wanted to give a shout out to the thirty six chamber instructors because they always keep me in the right mindset when I'm fretting or worried about. You know, what I'm saying looking a certain way on my homework or turn it in on time. If you reach out to them, they are such humble dudes. And so, you know what I'm saying? They got such great energy that they calm you down. Like, yeah, you get your homework in, but, you know, we see you. you you're doing great. Don't stress it. They put that battery in your back. So I just wanted to give them all the love. We got to have one of them. I hate you. I'm out of here. I'm not doing that second episode with Asa. Uh, get that wow. lady right there. <laughs> Walking up the street. Get your ass in here. You're replacing the awesome. pretty dude with the eyes and the dreadlocks. Oh wow. Hey man. Pause. Pause Again. for that. That pause for that. Yeah, that was so my appreciation goes out to you guys in this room right here. Cause we be talking about stuff and people be having their perceptions and their opinions and they whatever, and everybody is still intelligent enough to um be that 
you know, just just open minded enough to not like, you know, go crazy, go wild or like put up a brick wall. So I appreciate y'all for having such dynamic minds and mentalities and just being open to, you know, truths and different perspectives, you know. I don't want to be yeah. known for suffering from that disease Dave be talking about now. Uh, Dunning Kruger? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've always said, dude I'm, dude, I'm okay with ignorant. Ignorant just means you don't know. I love what I have a problem with up. is willful ignorance, mm-hmm. which means you refuse to learn. Mm-hmm. 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 Facts, facts. I gotta look that up. My quick appreciation goes to, in the words of the old dirty bastard, and Snoop Dogg. Myself! <laughs> I'm loving myself right now, all right? Big baby Jesus. <laughs> there you go. If you know hip hop, then you know where that came from. If you don't, then that's fine. But just like Snoop says, I want to shout out to myself for me putting in all that hard work, me waking up every day and doing what I got to do to move to that next level. I want to thank myself <laughs> for loving on myself, appreciating myself and my form, and me being my best, and me trying to trying to move forward every day and and not ever succumb to um, any negative feelings or thoughts or emotions because. I'm a human being, and shit, you only get one life to live, as far as I know. Um, and you got to appreciate the life that you have as best possible, man. So I'm appreciating myself on this podcast. Uh, I'm appreciating, yeah. So shout out to me, Jamon Booz, one and only, the, the realest one, if it's another one with the same name. You like number four. I don't give a fuck. There is no other You Jamon's. one, two, and three? One, two, and three. Oh. Wait, KRS one. I'm number one, two, three, four, and five. Yep. Dylon, 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 <laughs> Dylon. Booze, 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 booze. And that ain't ego talking. I'm just saying I love myself, and I'm gonna continue to love myself. And if you don't love yourself, then I expect you. Uh, I will hope that you're on the same page because it's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna just guess that there are no other Jamans. Oh shit! You know, I'm, I Google it. It's definitely gonna be something to come up. Facts. But they like number he six. in Germany though. For the listeners who don't know Booze in person, he's like legit. A super dope ass, unique human being, man. I tell him all the time. I'll be trying to like, without hyping his head up, I'll be trying to like praise him and remind him of how dope he is. Cause sometimes super humble too. He be having his little, you know, goggles on and just you know seeing all this light in other people. But real talk, bro, you, I, I commend you on that. Finally, oh, talk man. your shit. Man. That humility run in both of y'all are deep. I was actually about to thank my dad, and I was like, man, I'm just, I'm happy because I'm happy, not because. He busted nothing dipped. All right, that leads into our next episode. <laughs> That's the segue into that other one, right? <laughs> Catch us on the next episode of the High Vibe Guys. Peace. Boom. <laughs> nice end to the show.